In this video, I'm going to go through Sock Market's second month of business, June. We start June with the following balances. These are the balances from the balance sheet at the end of the month of May. So May 31, these balances were um, the ending balance of last period. They become the beginning balances for June. Now let's go through the transactions for June. In this one, we're getting an asset. We're paying an advance. When you pay an advance, it's an asset. It's because you're not getting the service not yet. You could, in other words, get your $300 back as of June 1. So it's an asset. We're deferring expensing it. We'll wait to expense it when we actually get the service. This next one, we're buying socks. We are getting um, $2 is the cost per pair, 900 socks. And that is your inventory because you're planning on selling it. It's not supplies. Supplies are what you would use in your own business. We're going to mark these up and sell them. Now notice the words on account. That means we're not giving cash. Instead, we're give, giving, giving the promise to pay later. It's called an accounts payable. Accounts payable are what you owe for inventory. It's not notes payable because uh, typically these are paid within the month and they don't um, end up accruing interest. All right, the next is we make a sale. Um, the first is we are delivering goods. We're giving our customers socks and we're charging them $5 a pair, price times the quantity. And this is not cash because of the words on account. It's kind of like the one above where we bought on account, we're selling on account. And this is an asset. It's almost as good as cash. And the reason we're recording this is because accrual accounting says you record your revenues in the period you deliver your goods or services. And this is when uh, we delivered the socks in June. So that's how much revenue we have earned. We haven't gotten in cash yet, but that doesn't matter. With accrual accounting, you record this asset instead of cash. The accounts receivable will get collected eventually when you receive the cash. We also have to record the using of our um, asset inventory. The um, socks cost two bucks a piece and there was uh, six of them, 600 of them that we sold. So inventory is going down by 1200 The using of an asset is an expense. Now in this next one we're actually paying our bills, so 1800 is what we owe. We're only going to be paying no part of that. So down goes cash, 600 and we're going to reduce, get back, if you will, some of our IOUs. So now we won't owe 1800 anymore, we'll owe 1200 and like us paying our bills, now our customers are paying their bills. So this account's receivable, we're finally collecting. We're getting 2500 in cash. You do not go over and record the revenue, not again. We recorded the revenue here. We're collecting from these goods that we delivered back earlier in the month. What you're going to reduce, or what you're giving in exchange, is you're giving the accounts receivable up because this accounts receivable is a payable to the customer and they want their IOU back if they are paying. Paying a dividend, using of, of uh, the cash, what you're doing is reducing the creditor's claims to your assets. You're shrinking the company. The owners are, um, their owner's investment in the company is getting reduced. All right, the next is to go through and do adjusting entries. Make sure all your assets and liabilities are properly stated. Well, the first adjusting entry here is insurance because right now our prepaid insurance has a balance of 300. We wouldn't get 300 back. Why? Because we got $100 or one third of the service from the insurance company. So we've used $100 of that asset. The using of an asset is an expense. We also used our equipment. 
just like we did last month. It's not, a, it's not equipment that we reduce. We use the account accumulated depreciation because this is just an estimate. We leave the equipment alone at its original historical cost. And the using of an asset is an expense. Now we've got a couple liabilities to record. Why do we have uh, these to record? Well, our employees worked for us. We got a service. Accrual Accounting says you record the expense in the period you got the service. So our employees worked for us, but we did not give them cash. We owe them. We're going to pay next month. So we are giving an IOU. That is called wages payable in this example. Likewise, we had use of the $1,000 for another month. It costs five dollars a month, that's the interest. So we owe, we're going to give an IOU. So now we owe them five months from May and another five from June. Why do we owe another five? Well because we had use of the money again in June. And those are the entries. I'm going to do the statements in another video.